University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Ancient plays modern tonight as one of Cambridge's older colleges takes on one of Oxford's more recent in another first-round match. The winners definitely go through to round two. The losers could do so as well if their score's good enough. Now, Christ College Cambridge began life as God's House, established in 1437 by the London clergyman William Bingham to train grammar school teachers. It was obliged to move to its present location on St Andrew's Street after Henry VI earmarked its site for his new King's College, and it was refounded and renamed in 1505 by Lady Margaret Beaufort, the mother of Henry VII. It's a reputation for high academic standards and for being on the wealthy side. The author C.P. Snow was a fellow there, and his novel The Masters is loosely based on the college. Other alumni include the poet John Milton, the naturalist Charles Darwin, and more recently the historian Simon Sharma and the comedian Sasha Baron Cohen. With an average age of 19, representing around 600 fellow students, let's meet the Christ team. Hi, I'm Vivek Mitter, I'm from London, and I'm reading Economics. Hello, my name's Joe Kitchen. I'm from Much Hudham in Hertfordshire, and I'm reading History. I'm their captain. Hello, I'm Douglas Morton, I'm from Bearsden near Glasgow, and I'm studying law. Hey up, I'm Evan Lynch, I'm from Castleford in West Yorkshire, and I study natural sciences. Now, Kellogg College, Oxford, celebrated its 25th anniversary earlier this year and is making its debut in this competition. Its name acknowledges the financial assistance given to the university by the foundation created by the breakfast cereal empire, which is why it's Corpus Crispy to its friends. <laughs> Unusually, the college has no quad, no porter's lodge and no chapel, and its intake is restricted to graduates many of whom are international or mature students. A high proportion study part-time and balance college life with their careers. With an average age of 31 and representing around 800 students, let's meet the Kellogg team. Hi, I'm Jake McBride. I'm from Cheltenham and I'm studying for a Masters in English Literature. Hello, I'm Victoria Ball. I'm from London and I'm studying for a Masters in Sustainability. And their captain? Hello, I'm Jonathan Finlay. I'm from Belfast, and I'm studying for a Master's in British and European History. Hello, I'm Simon Dismore. I'm from London, and I'm studying for a Master's in Cyber Security. Right, the rules are the same as ever. Ten points for starters, 15 for bonuses. There are five-point penalties, remember, if you interrupt a starter question incorrectly. So, fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. The discovery of sodium and potassium and the invention of the miner's safety lamp were on Christ's Midhoe. Humphrey Davy. So Humphrey Davy is correct. <laughs> so, Christ, the first set of bonuses go to you. They're on the invocation of the muse. In each case, identify the title of the work quoted. From a translation, firstly, of 1697. O muse, the causes and the crimes relate what goddess was provoked and whence her hate. For what offence the Queen of Heaven began to persecute so brave, so just a man? The Odyssey. The Odyssey. Uh, no, it's Virgil's Aeneid. Secondly, from a work thought to date from the 1590s, nor sporting in the dalliance of love in courts of kings where state is overturned, nor in the pomp of proud audacious deeds intends our muse to vaunt his heavenly verse. The Fairy Queen. No, it's from Marlowe's Dr. Faustus. And finally, also dating to the 1590s, oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention. Again, I think it may just be Mrs. Shakespeare's Fairy. I can't think of anything. I don't know what it was. Um, no, the Fairy Queen. The Fairy Queen. No, it's Henry V, Shakespeare. Ten points for this. Which country is this? Around the size of Greece or England, it became independent in 1971 and is one of the world's most densely populated countries. Christ's Morton. Bangladesh. Correct. <laughs> Bonuses for you on St Thomas Aquinas, Christ. 
At around the age of 20, Aquinas joined the mendicant order known as the Order of Preachers or Black Friars. The order is also known by what name after the saint who founded it? I think it's the Dominicans. The Dominicans, Dominicans I would have gone for. Dominicans are Franciscans. Yeah. The Dominicans. Correct. Aquinas published several commentaries on which Greek philosopher, whose thought he tried to combine and reconcile with Christian principles? Aristotle. 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 Correct. Aquinas died in the Cistercian monastery of Fossa Nuovo in Italy in 1274, having been summoned from Naples by the Pope to an ecumenical council at which city on the confluence of the rivers Rhone and Saone? Yeah, that sounds like it could be Avignon. Yeah, that might be. Avignon. No, it's Lyon. Ten points for this. Elias Gotobed, Frank Fenwick and Septimus Harding are among the title characters created by which writer? They are described respectively as the American senator, the vicar of Bullhampton and the warden. Christ's Lynch. Thomas Hardy. No one you like to buzz from Kellogg? Uh, Kellogg Dismore. Anthony Trollope. Correct. <laughs> right, Kellogg, these bonuses are on the noble gases. Firstly, name either the English physicist or the Scottish chemist who won Nobel Prizes in 1904 for their work in isolating many of the noble gases. Yeah, was it Kelvin? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. it's Kelvin. Is that Richard Kelvin? No, it was Lord Rayleigh and Sir William Ramsey. OK, secondly, for five points, in 2006, physicists in Russia announced that the seventh noble gas had been made in a cyclotron dubbed element 118. It was given the chemical symbol UUO. And what temporary name? <clears throat> it's on, on Octio. Uh, nominate Dismore. An, an octium. Correct. And finally, which of the noble gases has a name derived from the Greek meaning idle or without work in reference to the fact that it's chemically inert? Argon. 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 Argon is correct. Yes, well done. <laughs> We're going to take a picture round. For your picture starter, you're going to see a diagram of a constellation as defined by the International Astronomical Union with the relative apparent magnitude of the stars indicated. For ten points, I want you to give me its name. Christ's Lynch. Orion. Anyone like to buzz from Kellogg? Kellogg Ball. The Whale. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's Gemini. That's how it comes mm. to resemble a set of twins. So, picture bonuses in a moment or two. Another starter question in the meantime. Fingers on the buzzers, please. Used for checking the acoustic characteristics of listening rooms and auditoria, what type of noise is distributed evenly in all ah. octaves? Kellogg Dismore. White noise. Now, I'm afraid you lose five points. Noise is distributed evenly in all octaves. The term comes from optics and is the perceived colour of light with a similar spectral density. Christ's Lynch. I think grey noise. No, it's pink noise. So, ten points for this. What two-word name is usually given to the law of economy or law of parsimony expressed as pluralitas non est ponenda singis? Christ's Morton. Occam's Razor. Correct. Right, Christ, you get the picture bonuses. There are three constellations that appear near Gemini. That, you recall, that came in the starter question. The relative apparent magnitude of the stars is indicated. And again, in each case, I simply want you to identify the constellation. Firstly, for five... Gemini is Canis Major. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is, that, is that Sagittarius? Well, it can be Sagittarius. It looks like so should we can say Sagittarius. Yeah, Sagittarius. 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 No, it's Canis Major, oh. as you can see, the greater dog. And secondly, well, that looks like it could be some sort of animal, um, mm. just a bit of the tail thing. But I've 
a hen that's going to be. Hang on. Is that the what? Is it a goat? A goat. Uh, apart from bears, do we know any goats? Capricorn. Capricorn. No, it's Monoceros, the unicorn. Oh. There you are. And finally. Oh, oh, yeah, no, it's Orion. Well done. Let's see how he becomes Orion with his belt and his bow. There we are. Right, ten points for this. An Olympic stadium in which city bears the name of Luis Cumpanch, who was killed by Christ's Morton. Barcelona. Barcelona is correct, yes. Trice, your bonuses are on the screenwriter and dramatist Peter Morgan. Firstly, born Francis Angier Pakenham, which campaigning Labour peer was the subject of a 2006 film written by Morgan? That could be Tony Blaine. I don't know, that's just campaigning. He was originally a peer, but... Um, OK, it's not going to be Lord Mandelson, he's Prince of Darkness, we'll go Tony Benn. Yeah. Tony Benn. No, it was Lord Longford. <laughs> Secondly, Peter Morgan's screenplay, The Queen, was filmed with Helen Mirren in the title role. What title did he give to his stage play, first performed in 2013, for which Helen Mirren reprised the role and in which eight prime ministers are depicted on stage? Young Victoria. An no, no, no. An audience. An audience. Something like an audience. I don't know. An audience. The Queen or just an audience. I think it's... Yeah. Something. Something. Like an something. Just something. Just something. An audience. I'll accept that, yes. The audience, okay. yes. And finally, the actor Michael Sheen has appeared as Tony Blair in three films written by Peter Morgan, The Queen, The Deal and Which Other, based on Blair's dealings with Bill Clinton. I've seen that. that. Um, um, it's not... No, I've seen Michael Douglas film. I don't know. No, I can't remember what it's called. No ideas? I don't no, know. I can't no. Susie 2. <laughs> <laughs> it's the special relationship. Oh, Ten yes. points for this. According to the German sociologist Ferdinand Ternis, Gemeinschaft, meaning social relations based on close personal and family ties, is in direct contrast to Kellogg Ball. Gesellschaft. Well done, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kellogg, these bonuses are on a Spanish surname. The founder of a dynasty overthrown in 1979, Anastasio Somoza Garcia, was the dictator of which country for almost 20 years until his assassination in 1956? South America. South America. Yeah. Um, Argentina. Where? Argentina. How did the dictatorship? Argentina. Argentina. No, no, because it's... Um, um, Argentina. 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 Secondly, Carlos P. Garcia became president of which country in 1957 on the death of Ramon Magsaysay? He'd earlier been active in the resistance to the Japanese during World War II. Resistance to Japanese? Philippines? Philippines? Correct. Alan Garcia was president of which country from 1985 to 1990 and from 2006 to 2011? His first term was marked by hyperinflation and the rise of the Shining Path guerrilla movement. Colombia. No, it was Peru. Oh. Ten points for this. Which two non-metallic elements make up more than 70% by weight of the Earth's crust? <laughs> Christ's lynch. Silicon and oxygen. Correct. Right, these bonuses, Christ, are on terms coined by alchemists. All three include the Latin word for water. Firstly, what two-word term denotes a mixture of nitric and hydrochloric acid and refers to the ability of the mixture to dissolve so-called noble metals, such as gold and platinum? Aquaregia. Aquaregia. Correct. Used for dissolving metals other than gold, which liquid was prepared by mixing either sand, alum or vitriol, or the last two together with saltpetre, and then collecting the distillate. Its modern name is nitric acid. That might be. Yes, yes, yes. Aquafortis. Aquafortis. Correct. And finally, what two-word term denotes a concentrated aqueous solution of ethanol obtained by distillation from wine or fermented juices? The distilled liquor has a notably higher alcoholic content than beer or wine. Aquavita. Aquavita. Yeah. Something very right. Aquavita. Or aquavitae, yes. Right. <laughs> Time for a music round. 
For your music starter, you're going to hear a piece of classical music based on the rhythm of a traditional dance. Ten points if you can identify the dance after which the piece is usually named. Christ's Lynch. Tango. No, you can hear a little more, Kellogg. Kellogg Ball. Polka? No, it's a Havaniera or Havanese <laughs> from Carmen, of course, the music. Right, ten points for this. Much used by amateur filmmakers, which film format was... Price Smitha. Super 8. Super 8 is correct. <laughs> so you get the music bonuses. There are three more pieces underpinned by the rhythm of the Havaniera, a Cuban dance in slow double time. In each case, I want you to identify the composer of the piece you hear. Firstly, for five, this French composer. I don't think it's Ravel. Debussy? No, that's by Ravel. Oh. Secondly, this American composer, please. It's Joplin was being Joplin. Joplin. It is Scott Joplin, yes. And finally, this French composer. Um, what do you think? I'm going to look at the full one. Unless it's anything. Um, um, there's nothing. Couldn't be anything else. Um, yeah, there's no because he was having a hair. Um, I'm not sure. I, I think I'll refer to yeah, Debussy. No, that's by Saint Sans. Right, Kellogg, there's still plenty of time. We're only halfway through this contest. You could easily come back. Right, ten points at stake in this starter question. Kurt Mantle, Rufus and the Merry Monarch were nicknames of kings of England who share which regnal number? Kellogg Finlay. Two. Second is correct, yes. <laughs> Impressively quick. Right, a set of bonuses on installations credited to the artist Banksy. In 2006, Banksy placed a life-sized replica of an orange-suited Guantanamo Bay prisoner in which US tourist attraction? We're in Florida, I see. Really, he's done stuff in LA. Oh. I don't tourist attraction. I mean, big tourist attraction. No, okay. Try that. You said it was Florida. Well, I just well, thought because that's what, yeah, because that's what people come from Guantanamo. They try yeah. to escape to. So Disneyland. So Disneyland. Disneyland. All right. Disney, uh, Disneyland, Disneyland, Florida. Disneyland, Florida. Disneyland, Florida. <laughs> no. If Disneyland, I would accept, which is in California, the one in Florida is Disney World. So I'm afraid I can't accept that. And um, secondly, in 2006, Banksy doctored copies of a music CD replacing original tracks with his own remixes entitled Why Am I Famous and What Am I For? before placing them in record shops around the UK. Who'd originally recorded the CD? <laughs> Or somebody who was just utterly talentless. <laughs> Peter Andre. <laughs> Peter Andre. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's even worse than that. It's Paris Hilton. <laughs> In 2011, an oversized amended version of which board game was reportedly a gift from Banksy to the anti-capitalist protesters camping outside St Paul's Cathedral? <laughs> or a risk. Monopoly. Monopoly. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Ten points for this. Which fine-grained, extrusive igneous rock is found in the form of hexagonal columns on the... Christ's kitchen. Basalt. Basalt is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonus is Christ's are on French intellectuals. Firstly, the work of which French philosopher, sociologist and critic includes the history of sexuality and the order of things? Okay. He died in 1984. Fickle. 
Correct. On television, the logic of practice and the state nobility are among the works of which sociologist and public intellectual who died in 2002? Oh, I was going to say... Um, uh, well, maybe that's not him. It's not Danny Dyer. It's too late for him. No, I'm waiting. Danny Dyer. Um... Mm. Well, I was going to say, I didn't say that, but they must be too much. Oh, they me. Come on. Yeah. Um, Chirac. What? As in Jacques Chirac? Right. <laughs> <laughs> no. That, I wouldn't think you'd call him an intellectual by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> He's Pierre Bourdieu. And finally, a major exponent of deconstruction, which French philosophers' works include writing and difference and speech and phenomena. He died in 2004. Derrida. Derrida. Derrida is correct, yes. <laughs> Right, ten points for this uh, starter question coming up. It's a picture starter. For your picture starter, you're going to see the name of a country written in that country's national language. For ten points, I want the country's common English name. Christ Morton. Hungary. Correct. <laughs> picture bonuses, three more national endonyms. That is the name of a country in the language of its inhabitants. In each case, I want the common English name of the country. Firstly... Oh, that's... Um, uh, that's... Um, that's... That could be difficult. Well, it's... I do see, it makes me think it's South Africa. No, it's not. Not South Africa. Nigeria? I think... I want to say Nigeria. Nigeria. No, that is the Central African Republic in oh, Sango. Yeah. Secondly... That's Albania. That's Albania. That Albania, Albania? Definitely. Yeah. Albania. Correct. And finally, this country where the predominant language is English. That's, oh, that's uh, New, I, Zealand. I I New, that Zealand. New Zealand. Well done. <laughs> right, ten points for this. What was the surname of the siblings and lexicographers who edited the 1911 Concise Oxford Dictionary after the death of his brother Francis Henry went on to complete the Dictionary of Modern English Usage. Christ's Kitchen. Fowler. Fowler is right, yes. <laughs> Christ, your bonuses are on words composed of letters in reverse alphabetical order. For example, solid and wolf. Give the word defined in each case. With six letters... A primitive aquatic animal, firstly, of the phylum porifera that has a collagen skeleton and no internal organs. Um, um, a jellyfish. A jellyfish. A jellyfish. Six letters. No, I don't. I have nothing. No. Pass. Sponge. <gasps> Secondly, with five letters, a traditional bohemian dance that features in Smetana's opera The Bartered Bride. Polka. Polka. Correct. And finally, with four letters, the white crystalline solid that is the primary means of excess nitrogen excretion in mammals. That's four letters. Um, urea. Urea. Yes, it is. Yes. Urea. Urea is correct. There's about four and a quarter minutes to go and ten points at stake for this. Name either of the two countries that, according to the UK Permanent Committee on Geographical Names, use the definite article in their short official name. Christ's Morton. The Gambia. The other one is the Bahamas, correct. <laughs> so you're going to set the bonuses this time on a regnal name, Christ. Noted for his arrest of Pope Martin in 653, Theodore I, Calliopas was twice exarch of which city on the Adriatic? It was a centre of Byzantine power from the 6th to the 8th centuries. Oh, was it like, Bari? Venice, um, uh, Venice wasn't no, uh, no, it wasn't a separate one. Uh, I mean, got... Uh, Perugia, no. Ravenna? Ravenna? Ravenna is a good... That's a good show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Ravenna. Correct. Well Theodore II has been described as the first modern ruler of which African country? He died after a British military expedition stormed the fortress of Magdala in 1868. Ethiopia. Correct. Abyssinia, as it was. The German adventurer Theodore Baron von Neuhoff was briefly king of which Mediterranean island, where he landed in 1736? It came under French rule in 1769. Corsica. 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 Correct. Ten points for this. Diplodocus and Apatosaurus were members of which subgroup of the dinosaurs? Kellogg Finlay. Sauropods. 
Sauropod is correct. You get a set of bonuses this time, Kellogg, on bridges in northern Europe. Named after the strait it spans, which structure features in the Nordic police drama The Bridge and connects Copenhagen in Denmark with Malmö in Sweden? It's not the Golden Bridge, that's what it is. Um, no, it's like, 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 Golden Bridge. No, it's the Orisund Bridge. Secondly, what name was popularly given in English to the Ludendorff Bridge across the Rhine in Germany, captured by US forces in March 1945? Name bridge in second order. Nominate Desmore. Arnhem. No, it was the bridge at Remagen. And finally, completed in 2013, the Hardanger Bridge is the longest suspension bridge in which Nordic country? Norway. Correct. Another start of the question. What short surname links the philosophical work Straw Dogs, Thoughts on Humans and Other Animals, the poem... Elegy written in a country churchyard. Christ's kitchen. Grey. Grey is correct, yes. <laughs> John Thomas. These bonuses are on fish, Christ. Fish are typically divided into three classes. The agnatha, or jawless, the chondrithes, or cartilaginous, and which other? Um, what would the fish do? Well, could you not have both? Yes, the dolphins are fish. The dolphins are fish. Uh, uh, bonus. Come on, let's have it, please. Bony. Bony is correct, yes, oh, they all stick sure. these. Secondly, fish have a sensory system consisting of mechanoreceptors arranged in a network along the head and body and known by what two-word term? Don't know, dorsal fins. I'm defaulting to dorsal fins, right? Dorsal fins. No, it's the lateral line system. And finally, almost all modern fish have a hydrostatic or ballast organ that lies in the body cavity just below the kidney, known by what common two-word name? Swim bladder. Yeah. Yeah. The swim bladder. Correct. Ten points for this. Which US author had a moon crater named after his novel Dandelion Wine? His breakthrough work in 1950 was a collection of short stories about... <laughs> and at the gong, it was Ray Bradbury who answers that, but you're too late, I'm afraid, after the gong. Well, Kellogg, you, you know, you've, you've appeared. That's the point. <laughs> That's the whole point. You came here and you did what you could. <laughs> <laughs> Which wasn't very much, but it was a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much. Uh, Christ, many congratulations to you. 205 is a terrific score. We should look forward to seeing you in the second round of the competition. Thank you for joining us too. I hope you can join us next time, but until then, it's goodbye from Kellogg College, Oxford. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Christ College, Cambridge. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>